Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. It's your first person fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Whiffs on the straight right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nice right in. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, 
Circling to his right. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Great punch landing with so much power. What a body kick. Switching stances here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Nice loop and punch. Two minutes to go. Now connects with a right. Body kicks. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice leg kick lands. Technique for him there on that side kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Stop, stop, stop. Right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Big kick land. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice job of hiding that hit kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Big body kick land. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Big Paul Brunson in. Now we get back to range. Huge 
huge block there. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Got the single collar tie. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Lands with a right hand. Big leg kick lands. Final seconds here. Effective strike there by Lee. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets out. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to show that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice. Nice. Real nice body kick land. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice punch lands over the top. Going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Timely defense there, huge block for him. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes wow. on. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet, very nice. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick to 
sync at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. What a punch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh! Whoa! Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well placed kick there by Lee. Watch knees to the body. Body kick attempt here, it's no good. Punch over the top. Liver kick. Less than a minute to go in the round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Big punch lands in the middle. Right hand upstairs. And he landed the right hand there. Goes to the body there. Back and forth we go. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Fifth and final round. Look at the turn in that kick. Beautiful body kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice strike landed there by Lee. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Came on inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice job by him there as he continues to keep his opponent to the outside. He told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, I have oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice defense. 
advantage there. Huge block. Effective punch there by Lee. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need to finish, risk man. Oh! 20 fantastic strikes to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under one minute remains in round five. Nice! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. That one's not in. Nice strike. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Right hand upstairs. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand.